you for being here. Thank you for choosing to click at Caroline's home. I don't take it for granted. My name is Carol and you're welcome. If you're new here, feel at home and I hope that you can find a reason to make you stay longer. So you're very much welcome. In today's video, I just want to share with you my, my night stroke evening routine that I usually do every day and also along the way i'll be sharing t some tips on home man on home management or how you can just cook without a lot of mess in the kitchen especially for busy mom so if that is the kind of content that you're interested with kindly stick till the end as we do this so uh, my day always starts with when my son comes back from school and today i just wanted to make for him a simple snack after school snack and that is what i was doing here i'm just going to be using buns cheese bronze is optional or you can even add vegetables if that is what you like and then i'm going to be using concasse or rather a pizza sauce that is something that you can buy in the store but mine is homemade Yes, yeah, so that is just what I'm going to be doing. So come along. I really hope that you still till the end. So that is my concasse. That is how it looks like or rather the pizza sauce that those people who make pizza, this is the kind of sauces that they use. So you're just going to spread it on the buns. The next step you're going, you're just going to add in your toppings. So the next step you're just going to put it in an oven or your air fryer and the, and just like 10 minutes and allow the cheese to melt it's just like making pizza and so that is what i'm going to do i'm not going to be using an oven i'm just going to use an air fryer so yeah and they were too big only for cool feet at a time so this is how they came out Okay, I really wish I started by showing you how I make this, but it's okay. I'll show you next time because what brings back carnival memories, by the way. And so that is what they were having after school. By the way, this can be a party starter. You can make the small buns or even just a cozy movie night at home. You can just do this with your friends, with those, you know, with your families. Then I just went on ahead and wiped the air fryer. I like to wipe it while it's still hot so that all the messes in there will not stick and they'll come out easily. Next, I had gone shopping. So that is what I'm going to be showing you next. A Ziploc bags I got. There are 25 pieces inside. Then soda, soda. And then mala. So my mom recommended that I try out this mala and ever since I did, I've not gone back. So yeah, I got, I got three of them. And then I got milk. This is the milk that I usually buy. And by the way, I buy it from Naivas. Naivas, they have very good milk. So one of them is for tea. The other one is for my homemade yogurt. So yeah, I make my own yogurt. I don't buy. And then I got these peptan peptan garlic sauce their milk goes for is it 770 77 shillings per liter yeah i don't know if i'll be able to mention the prices because and then i got these i really like these halal products i really love them and then i got sausage one kg then i got plain yogurt this is the one that i'm going to use to make the yogurt by the way you can use any flavor you're not limited to natural but i prefer this because you still need to add sugar even if you use vanilla or anything yeah then i got chicken this is my favorite what do i call it this is my favorite spaghetti nowadays pellets they are so sweet this spago since i started buying spago it has become my pasta my pasta companies nowadays and then i got beef another packet of spago and then indomie dollar two packets for chapati what naiva sugar at naiva it's 385 so i got it i bought it there and then i bought this utter for brown chapati Mm -hmm. 
cleaning products so i got this maxwell kitchen cleaner it's a dis disinfectant removes grease yes it removes grease and it is anti it's an antibacterial <laughs> bacterial it had an offer 500 ml then you added two and then you have this maxwell bathroom cleaner Jerusha Mombo, she's a YouTuber. If you haven't checked her out, by the way, go and check her out. She swears by these things. So I want to try out and see. You see? So if you haven't watched her content, she has amazing content. Cooking, cleaning. Hmm? Yes. And then I bought Flamingo. This is Flamingo Milk and Honey Soap. And then I want to try this. This is a kiwi shine and protect so with this you don't need a brush you don't you just use this part and so i decided why not just try it out and see how it goes so yeah that is the shopping that i was able to do today whatever i did buy i'll have to go next time because i'm really squeezed of, t of time yes So some of these things like milk, chicken, sausage, that is, no, that is not where I normally keep them. But I just have to put them there so that if I put them in the freezer, they'll freeze and I've not yet sorted them out. So they're just going to stay there until the next day. Then tomorrow I'm just going to sort them and put them where they're supposed to be.
holding i just went on ahead and prepared my son's next day outfit this day this saved me because in the morning i don't have to struggle i just wake him up and as i fix his breakfast he's going just going to pick his un uniform and then i laid aside what they are going to be wearing after they take their shower and so that it is for the bedroom yeah So basically when I'm making pasta, I just add in salt and oil so that the pasta will not stick together. This is a lot for my family, one packet, but I'm just going to boil it, the whole packet. And then whatever will be left, I'm going to store it for later. i was waiting for the pasta to cook i just decided this evening i was clearing any everything and anything that i had used so that i can just put them away there are videos that i've done on kitchen management how to cook to spend less time in the kitchen how to organize yourself in the kitchen i'm going to leave all links in the description just in case you're interested to see any of the videos you can just go right ahead and check them out so i'll leave the links below Once my pasta my panel was ready i just went on ahead and removed that water i always feel that like when you leave pasta with that water as it soaks up the water it becomes sticky and i want it to be left like this i don't want it to stick together but just be the way it is vegetables that i'm going to be using steamed tomatoes that have grated you can also blend then i'm going to be using peas i thought of just putting beef because i want to to make beef stir fry but i thought with the kids let me just add peas then you're going to be using carrots assorted peppers and then ginger garlic and i didn't pour all the pasta water i might need it later so i just left a bit with me It cooks it so well, like we it's soft. That is how I like my meat, by the way. If you can say it, overcooked. Yeah, that's over. Yes. Always try to fry my spices with vegetable or just with onions before I add all the other ingredients. I give it a few minutes just to cook so that all the aroma and the spices, all the aroma in the spices can come to life and just combine well so that when you add your ingredients, everything will be just perfect.
and to all my fans and my new subscribers aki thank you very much i really appreciate you guys i always say that there is no caroline's home without you because i cannot make a channel on my own i need you guys we need each other and so thank you very much if you are new here and you're not sure what i do my content my, my niche it's all about the homemaking motivation cleaning all those things that has to to do with motherhood that is what we do here and if you find that that is the niche that you really want to follow feel free and remember to subscribe so to my vegetables i ended up using the concasse you remember the concasse we used in the buns yes the reason i added it is because that it was so thick so sweet and it had tomato paste of which it was a homemade tomato paste i don't buy tomato paste i also make that at home i'm also going i'm leave i'll just be sure to check because i'm going to leave all those links that i'm mentioning even the video where i made my own tomato paste i'll just leave it below and that sauce that just made everything come together yeah and adding the pasta water really worked the liquid that was with pasta because remember it's starch so instead of adding cornstarch i just decided to stick with that water and it is going to help everything come together imagine those peas have been in the fridge for one month since the last time i did the grocery haul and they are still so fresh so green so the way you store your vegetables the way you cook your food really matters at the end of the day because i believe these peas can stay in the freezer even for a year and when you come back you're going to find them that they're going to be just be popping like that and as you can see our our stew was really coming together the only problem with my pan is that it doesn't have a lid but anyway we move yeah and so i was done with cleaning with cooking so i decided before we even eat let me just get over this gas because i really wanted to finish everything and just yes go do something else because i was a little bit busy yeah it was time for dinner and i tell you this food was so yummy so anytime i want perfect pasta i always add oil water and then remove the water after cooking and then because i don't want to mess up my carpet and give myself a lot of work i always spread a mat where the kids sit while they are feeding so this is another tip that really helps me manage my home and so after i was done the dishes i did before I, I had my dinner that is what i was cleaning as i was cooking because i didn't want that load afterwards and so now after i've already cleaned the pots and then these are the leftover this is beef, beef stock i'll be using later the leftovers and the pasta as i said it was a lot for just us three so yeah that is how it turned out that is how my kitchen is let's finish up so that we can call it a night So those are the tips that I will share that really help me to have a nice kitchen, especially when I'm busy or when I'm 
in a hurry. I just want to get over with everything and I hope that as I was doing that, you have learned you take me you have learned you take me how to Thank you.